beautiful and very elegant dish to do that takes no time at all because I'm going to be cooking it in the pressure cooker. Now I'm not only going to caramelise some gorgeous fennel but after that I'll use the calypso to steam some fish. Now let's start with these gorgeous fennel. You know fennel is one of my favourite vegetables because it is so versatile. You can puree it, you can roast it, you can pressure cook it, you can even eat it raw and it has a wonderful sweet flavour. Now don't throw away all of these fennel fronds. These look fantastic for the garnish. So I'll reserve some of these fronds. We'll just cut the top off this and we'll put that to the side. Now for the fennel itself, I'll cut the bulb in half and then you can see it's slightly woody down the bottom here. So we'll just cut a triangle in the base to get rid of it. Now we'll cut that in half again and then into quarters. So I want nice thin pieces, just like that. And I'll do that for the second fennel. And this is a great substitute for potatoes. If you want to mix it up, then this is a really wonderful option. Okay, fennel is prepared. I need half an onion for this recipe too. I'm using a red onion just for a pop of colour and I'll finely slice it. Fantastic. All right, let's start cooking this. So in my Calypso, I'll add a small amount of olive oil and I'll add around 60 grams of butter. Now I want the butter flavor in it, so that's why I add more butter to olive oil. What the olive oil does though, is ensures that that butter doesn't burn. Now just swirl that around the pressure cooker and just allow that to melt. While it starts to melt and bubble away, we'll add our onion. Just break it up in your hands, just so we get little thin strips of it. And instead of seasoning this dish with some pepper, what I'll be using is some coriander seeds. It has a really nice lemony flavour to it. And I like to use the whole seeds and then crush them in a mortar and pestle just to extract as much perfume out of it as possible. So just grind it up and you'll see it's slightly fine and then there's chunky bits. Texture is good for this. So a little more and that smells so good. It smells very different to ground coriander. So if you can get your hands on the seeds, please use it for this recipe. Now I'll take a generous handful and add this to the butter and the onions. And this is going to toast off the spices. So we'll say about a teaspoon of the coriander. Now these onions are softening up, so we'll just give that a quick toss. And as soon as you start to smell that ground coriander toasting in the butter, it's time to add our fennel. Now we'll add them and just be slightly gentle with them so they don't break up too much in the pan. Now I'll just toss that to coat all the fennel in that flavoured butter and I'll add some lemon, half a lemon, we'll use the rest to garnish later on, a good squeeze and a small amount of water. So because it's going to build up steam, liquid is crucial. So we don't need too much though. We just want about a quarter of a cup and then some salt, pinch of salt. And that's it, it's easy as that. The lid can go on the Calypso and we'll close it and just turn the nozzle to pressure cooking. And now this is going to cook for about eight to 10 minutes. Now this is where the magic happens when we talk about pressure cooking. If I was doing this in a traditional pot, it would take about 30 minutes to make those fennel tender. But this is going to take eight minutes. Once that's done, we can get on to the fish. cooking for eight minutes and I'll tell you what, the smell is just sensational. Now I've released the steam and once the steam finishes, it's safe to open the Calypso. Now for the fish, this is pink ling, also called rock ling or just ling. It's a great fish to steam. The reason it's a great fish to steam is because it's not an oily fish and it's not a bony fish. So it's wonderful to feed the whole family. Now I'm preparing this in a very traditional French way and that's by rolling it up and then just keeping it in place with a toothpick. When you steam this, what happens is the fish protein sticks together. So for presentation reasons, it looks great. So another toothpick and straight through the seam. 
Now, my pressure cooker comes with a steamer basket and a separator just to lift it off the base of the pot. So we'll just add a small drizzle of olive oil into the basket just so it doesn't stick. And you really don't need much. Just, just drizzle it and spread it around. Now we'll add the fish. And I don't want to add any oil to the fish, but I do want to add some salt. So a pinch of salt over each fillet. Okay, let's take the lid off. Oh, that smells so good. The base of it has caramelized, so it's almost sticky and sugary. And then the top is really, really soft. Now to transform our pressure cooker into a steamer, we'll just place our separator in the base of the pot, place the fish on top. Mine has enough liquid, but if yours doesn't, just add another quarter of a cup of water just to ensure the fish stays really moist throughout the cooking process. Lid can go back on. Now you don't need to put this back on to the pressure cooker function. We just need to turn the heat on to a medium heat. So leave it as is, and this is going to take about 10 minutes, depending on the size of your fish. Okay, the fish is cooked, so we'll take the lid off. Look how perfect that looks. We'll take the basket out very carefully because it's hot. And we'll just rest that over here. And we'll take the separator out. It's done its job. And now to serve this up, I'll grab a nice bright plate and put a generous helping of the caramelised fennel. Look how soft and sticky it is. Just the way it should be. Lovely. And now for the ling, I'll take out that toothpick and then with my tongs, carefully take it out and rest it on the fennel. And just to garnish this, a few sprigs of parsley, just torn over the top. And the fennel fronds that we reserved, I'll just place that over the top. And to finish, those beautiful juices at the bottom of the pan, we'll just drizzle that around the plate. That is a stunning dish. You know, it's kind of deceiving because you think that it's so elegant that it's taken so much time, but in the pressure cooker, the fennel takes 10 minutes to cook, the fish takes 10 minutes to cook. That is just a really nice way to show off fish in a different way.